Hello my friends, and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. In this video, we will explore the production process of artillery shells for Ukraine, as well as the production of guns and ammunition at famous factories around the world. In addition, we will also explore the manufacturing process of equipment in the nuclear energy industry. The production process of 155mm artillery shells for Ukraine involves the use of three private companies contracted by the Pentagon. General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems, American Ordnance, and IMT Defense. The production takes place in Scranton, Pennsylvania, where the Army Ammunition Factory is located. The factory produces high explosive fragments of ammunition, including M795 to 150 mm caliber for howitzers, which are crucial in Ukraine's efforts against the Russian. The production process starts with 6 meter rods made of steel that weigh around 900 kilograms. In the forge, the rods are cut into three parts and remelted into long blanks, about 90 centimeters. The process in this shop is robotic controlled by a computer, as it requires high-temperature conditions that are not safe for humans to work in. The blanks then undergo a transformation process using special equipment to turn them into polished shells with narrowed noses. Each projectile is carefully inspected by factory workers to ensure they meet all technical requirements and strict quality standards. The accuracy of the sizes must match to the nearest thousandth of a centimeter. It takes about three days to manufacture one projectile, but in Scranton, only the first stage takes place. The metal tomos turns into ammunition, but they are empty inside. They are then sent to another factory in Jova to be stuffed with explosive. The factory in Scranton produces about 11,000 shells every month and works at maximum capacity to supply the required volume of state orders. Tisa's Gun Manufacturing is a well-established firm in Trabzon, Turkey, that specializes in the production of pistols for the defense industry. The company was founded in 1993 as part of the Eastern Black Sea Gun Production Project and has since grown to become a leading producer of high-quality guns. TISAS employs 150 workers who operate in an 11,800-square-meter facility equipped with the latest drawing software and CNC machine technology. TESA's production process comprises two main stages, design and production. During the design stage, the technical team converts their studies into drawings, which are then modeled three-dimensionally using software. In the production stage, raw materials are analyzed and processed at CNC machines according to the designs prepared. The parts are then subjected to tests after each stage, checked for compliance with the drawing sizes, and approved for conformance by the quality control unit. TESAS is the only private firm in Turkey that can realize barrel production through forging, and its chrome plating paint shop and heat treatment facilities enable the factory to perform all kinds of processes related to pistol production independently and in-house. Mistral production from both standard steel and harder stainless steel material is underway using two separate boilers for heat treatment. Once the eligible parts complete the production stage, they undergo heat treatment, branding, and paint coating. After completion of the production process, each pistol undergoes visual inspection to detect any possible production defects. Functionality tests are also conducted, which involve firing the pistol to check for compatibility of the parts mounted on the gun. TESAS conducts tests at different temperatures, including minus 33 and plus 55 degrees Celsius, to ensure the optimal functionality of the barrel, slide, and body, 
as well as the safe feeding, firing, and ejecting of rounds into the chamber. TESIS produces six different calibers in 6.35 mm, 22 caliber, 9 by 17 mm, 9 by 19 mm, 9 by 21 mm, 40 caliber, 45 caliber, and 7.62 by 25 mm, along with over 50 models led by the Agana series. TESIS produces approximately 50,000 units per year and markets its products through its own marketing team at the Ankara and Istanbul Operations Departments, in addition to the central office based in Trabzon. The firm's marketing network is composed of domestic sales, mainly to the Turkish armed forces and exports to over 30 countries worldwide, including the United States of America. Trust Cartridges is a leading manufacturer of ammunition, renowned for its high-quality products that meet the exacting standards of the most demanding shooters. The company has built a reputation for excellence in the industry, and its ammunition is trusted by hunters, sports shooters, and law enforcement agencies worldwide. At the heart of Trust Cartridge's success is its rigorous manufacturing process, which ensures the consistent quality and reliability of its ammunition. The company uses only the highest quality materials and components and employs state-of-the-art technology and precision manufacturing techniques to produce ammunition that meets the most exacting standards. The process begins with the selection of the raw materials. Trust Cartridges uses only the finest quality brass for its casings, which is carefully inspected for defects and impurities before it is used in the manufacturing process. The company also uses premium quality bullets, powders, and primers, all of which are rigorously tested to ensure that they meet the company's strict quality standards. Once the raw materials have been selected, they are loaded into the cartridge cases using advanced machinery and techniques. The company uses automated loading machines that are capable of producing tens of thousands of cartridges per day while ensuring consistent quality and accuracy. The loading process is carefully monitored to ensure that the correct amount of powder is used and that the bullets are seated at the correct depth in the casing. Trust Cartridges also places a strong emphasis on quality control throughout the manufacturing process. Each batch of ammunition is carefully inspected and tested to ensure that it meets the company's strict standards for accuracy, consistency, and reliability. This includes testing for chamber pressure, velocity, and accuracy, as well as visual inspections for defects or irregularities. Another key factor in Trust Cartridge's success is its commitment to innovation and research. The company invests heavily in research and development to develop new and improved ammunition technologies and to stay ahead of the curve in an increasingly competitive market. This includes developing new bullet designs, powders, and primers that offer improved performance, accuracy, and consistency. Trust Cartridge's commitment to quality, innovation, and research has helped it become one of the most respected names in the ammunition industry. Its products are trusted by shooters around the world, and its rigorous manufacturing process ensures that every cartridge is of the highest quality and reliability. The process of manufacturing paper shot shell hulls begins with a large 250-pound roll of paper. The paper is first rolled out to the desired thickness and scored, then returned to the roll. 
The scored paper is then rolled into 12-inch tubes, which are then dried to remove any excess moisture. After drying, the tubes are lubed and sized to the correct inner and outer diameters using specialized machinery. Once sized, the tubes are placed into a conditioning room to achieve the desired hardness and strength. Next, the tubes are cut into 3-inch lengths using a cutting machine. The cut tubes are then soaked in heated wax under pressure to further strengthen and waterproof them. After waxing, the tubes are placed back into the conditioning room to allow the wax to cure and harden. Finally, the paper tubes are processed into the hardest hitting 12 gauge loads to ever crush a clay target. This may involve additional steps such as folding, crimping, and sealing the hulls, as well as loading them with shot and powder to create finished shotgun shells. Fuel rod fabrication is a critical process in the production of nuclear fuel. During this process, fuel pellets made of enriched uranium dioxide, UO2, are stacked and inserted into metal tubes or rods, typically made of zirconium alloy. The fuel rods are then sealed to prevent the release of radioactive materials into the environment. The fuel rods are assembled into fuel assemblies, which are then loaded into the reactor core. The heat generated by the nuclear reactions in the fuel rods is used to produce steam, which drives turbines to generate electricity. Fuel rod fabrication requires strict quality control and compliance with safety regulations to ensure the safe and efficient operation of nuclear power plants. Westinghouse uses advanced technologies and materials to produce high-quality fuel rods that meet or exceed industry standards for safety and performance, in addition to standard fuel rod fabrication. Westinghouse also offers advanced fuel rod designs that incorporate features such as improved thermal performance and enhanced resistance to corrosion and wear. These designs are aimed at improving the efficiency and reliability of nuclear power plants, as well as reducing their environmental impact. The manufacturing of nuclear components involves a highly complex and sophisticated process that requires extreme precision and accuracy. It involves the production of various nuclear fuel products that are used in different types of reactors, such as pressurized water reactor PWR fuel, boiling water reactor BWR fuel, and VVER fuel. The first step in the process is the fabrication of nuclear fuel pellets, which are typically made of ceramic uranium dioxide, UO2. These pellets are then loaded into metal tubes called fuel rods, which are then assembled into fuel assemblies. The fuel assemblies are designed to withstand the extreme temperatures and pressures that occur within a nuclear reactor. The manufacturing process also involves the production of other components, such as control rods, which are used to regulate the nuclear reaction, and reactor coolant pumps, which circulate coolant through the reactor to remove heat generated by the nuclear reaction. Quality control is a critical aspect of the manufacturing process for nuclear components. The manufacturing process is subject to strict regulatory oversight and inspection, and quality control procedures are implemented to ensure that the components meet rigorous safety standards.
Glass-lined equipment manufacturing involves the creation of industrial vessels, tanks, and piping systems that are made of a specialized glass coating that is fused to steel. This process creates a strong, durable, and corrosion-resistant surface that can withstand extreme temperatures and harsh chemical environments. The manufacturing process begins with the fabrication of the steel structure that will serve as the base for the glass lining. The steel is then cleaned and coated with a layer of enamel, which is heated to bond the enamel to the steel. The enamel coating is then ground and polished to a smooth surface before the glass is applied. The glass lining is applied using a specialized spray gun that sprays a fine mist of glass particles onto the surface of the steel. The particles are melted in a furnace and fused to the steel to create a smooth and durable glass lining. Glass-lined equipment is commonly used in industries such as chemical processing, pharmaceuticals, food and beverage, and wastewater treatment. The glass lining provides excellent resistance to corrosion and can withstand high temperatures and pressure, making it ideal for use in harsh environments. The Federal Factory is one of the leading manufacturers of ammunition in the world, producing high-quality ammunition for hunters, sport shooters, and law enforcement agencies. Rimfire ammunition is named after the firing pin that strikes the rim of the cartridge to ignite the primer. This type of ammunition is commonly used for small-caliber rifles, handguns, and target shooting. Rimfire cartridges are typically not reloadable, meaning they cannot be reloaded once fired. Shot shells, on the other hand, are cartridges that contain small pellets or shot. These are commonly used for shotguns, primarily for hunting birds and small game. Shot shells are available in a variety of shot sizes, which determine the spread of the pellets as they leave the barrel. Centrifire ammunition is named after the firing pin that strikes the center of the cartridge to ignite the primer. This type of ammunition is commonly used for rifles, handguns, and hunting. Centerfire cartridges are reloadable, meaning they can be reloaded after they have been fired. Federal ammunition is renowned for its consistency, accuracy, and reliability. The company uses only the highest quality components, including brass cases, primers, and powder, to ensure that each round performs flawlessly. Quality control is an important aspect of ammunition manufacturing, regardless of the type of ammunition being produced. Manufacturers must ensure that each cartridge is made to exacting standards in order to ensure consistent performance and safety. Quality control measures may include inspecting and testing the components used in each cartridge, conducting ballistic tests to measure accuracy and consistency, and implementing rigorous manufacturing processes to ensure that each cartridge is produced to the same high standards.